Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good evening, Mid-Missouri. I'm L.C. Chandler. It's time to talk sports. The Missouri Tigers are riding a three-game win streak heading into Saturday's matchup with the Alabama Crimson Tide. With only five games left to pad that tourney resume, it's the perfect time for Mizzou to be finding a rhythm and the perfect time for some of the young guys to be growing up right before our eyes. KMU 8's Tyler Griever tells us there's some new blood producing for Mizzou that could help down the stretch. There's been a lot of focus this season on the big three of Jabari Brown, Jordan Clarkson, and Ernest Ross. But lately, it's a new trio stepping up to give the Tigers new life. And I'm proud of how you know the three freshmen, I think, all gave us something, and they're getting more and more comfortable with Wes and Torrin and, um, and J3. There's no training wheels anymore for this trio. Wednesday's win over Vanderbilt marked the first time all season Wes Clark, Torrin Jones, and Jonathan Williams III each played more than 15 minutes in the same game. And it paid off. You look at the numbers, they gave some point production, but I think how they scrapped. I mean, Torrin had three steals. You know, Jonathan, is, he could affect a lot of shots. He had three blocks. Wes is a tough kid. Uh, I think he battles. Uh, you know, he uh, you know, obviously he made some shots. But uh, all those guys, they're getting better and better as they, the more comfortable they're getting. For Clark, the leadership of the older three has been valuable. I just play with confidence. From, uh, from our leaders like Jabari, Jordan, and EJ, throughout the uh, beginning of the season, I was having a little struggles. But um, they just kept me focused. They kept me going, kept encouraging me, and I just took on the challenge. It won't be a waltz for Missouri to make the NCAA tournament, but if these freshmen keep taking steps, Mizzou might just have a spot at the big dance. Tyler Reaver, KMU8 Sports. Clark and Williams III actually have played over 15 minutes in multiple games this season, but for Torrin Jones, his 18 minutes against Vanderbilt were the most he's played all year. Great stuff there, Tyler. Some quarterfinal mat madness wrestling over at Mizzou Arena today. The best high school wrestlers in all four classes duking it out to see who's the best pound for pound in Missouri. Here's Father Tolton's Jaden Clayton. The kid is no joke, folks. He's never lost a high school match, and that stat stood pat today. Another monster of the mat here, Sam Crane from Rockbridge. Didn't have to travel far to get a win today, and the win he got. Clayton Crane and every wrestler who advances gearing up as we speak for semifinal action going on right now. More for you tonight on KOMU. The U.S. men's hockey team took on Canada this morning in the Olympic semifinals. A lot at stake in this one. The winner gets Sweden for the gold, while the loser has to play for bronze and keep Justin Bieber. Sadly, Canada's Jamie Benn of the NHL's Dallas Stars netted the only goal it took to put the U.S. away, 1-0. So Canada will fight for gold on Sunday. The U.S. will battle for bronze on Saturday. And droves of believers will still be lining up to see Justin at U.S. arenas. And I was like, baby, 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 no. Goodness. Look, for more Olympic coverage, stick with KMU. More KMU 8 News at 6 after this. During the Jeep President's Day event.